All right, guys, it's a good day. We got the coffee. It's actually a latte. Um, don't judge me. I make a latte every day. But guys, it's an exciting day because we're going to talk about our goals for 2022. So by the time this video gets out, it's probably going to be uh, like the end of January or something. Um, but uh, nonetheless, we're going to talk about my goals that I set for myself this year. Hopefully you guys have set some, some goals for yourself. I would love to hear about them. Maybe drop them in a comment below. But so I've got a list of goals. I'm going to actually run through and tell you what they are. The big one, eh, we'll see if I hit it. It's a pretty big one. But first, before I tell you what they are, how do you, th how do you determine what your goals are really? Um, it's hard because we all want so many different things and there's so many goals. What I have found, if you set too many, you end up not accomplishing any of them. So a buddy of mine um, actually walked me through this exercise months back. It's called the best year ever. And I think, oh, some big famous guy probably started doing it. John Maxwell, I think. But what you do is you sit down uninterrupted and you talk about what would my life look like if I was reflecting on the best year ever that I have? What would I be saying? What would, what would have happened? So picture yourself sitting there, you know, you finished the year and it has legit been the best year ever, you know, so you're going to start writing things like, you know, I just accomplished running a marathon or I lost enough weight to have a six pack and I spent a ton of time with my kids and my family, whatever your goals are, that's what you're going to write down. So I actually did that. Um, it's probably a page and a half or so of writing. And I just visualized, hey, you know, what would the best year ever look like for me? And that helps you determine, okay, well, if that's the best year ever, how do I get there? And to sum up what my best year ever looked like, it was more or less, you know, I was able to wake up in the morning. I didn't have a boss tell me what to do. I was able to, you know, wake up early, have, a, have quiet time, drink my coffee, and, um, and then have a team that I had built around me where we're buying these real estate deals that are providing, you know, passive income and, you know, building wealth for, you know, not just myself, but my employees, my family. So that's, that's kind of what I, what I picture and visualize for my life. And so that's how, you know, you're, you're going to see that through some of these goals. So guys to get through, I don't know what order to do this in, but, um, I guess I'll start with this one first. So you, you know, we all have the goal of retiring someday or some, most of us do actually, I don't even think I have that goal, but in society we get, we have that goal of, you know, working and then retiring and then we travel. Um, I think that's kind of backwards. So one of my goals this, this year is to spend a month on vacation, like consecutively a whole month. So a month out of the year, my wife and I are going to go on vacation. Although she's going to still be working because she can't take a month off. Um, and I'll still be working too, but I guess it's not really a vacation. It's more of, um, just getting away for a month, leaving, leaving your normal. So that's number one is spend a month. And we actually have a location picked out. We already have our Airbnb booked. Um, I'm probably not going to share it yet. I'll wait and, and share it with, in another video, or maybe I'll just surprise you when I get there. So that's the first one, spend a month on vacation or away. Um, the other two, the other one, the other one, the next one down is close a deal as a uh, GP. So that's gonna confuse a lot of non-real estate people, but essentially be a part of a syndication where you know you go take down a, you know, a $10 million deal. And well, I don't have enough money to take down a $10 million deal myself. So you get a bunch of investors together and you have the joint or the um, general partners over here. You have the limited partners over here. Well, I want to be part of a limit uh, of the general partnership, which sounds really boring. So I'm not going to elaborate, but more or less, I want to be a part of a really big deal, um, you know, bigger than I ever imagined I would be, you know, a $10 million deal. Maybe I only own, you know, 3% of it, but being able to be on that general partnership is good for your, you know, resume and blah, blah, blah. So that's number two. Number three is hire a video editor slash, you know, virtual assistant who can help me on my social media. So maybe this video will actually have been edited by, you know, you, a virtual editor or uh, a video editor, I hope. So that's, that's a third one. 
that's what I'm finding guys. Like, you know, if I hit, if I want to hit my last goal that I'm going to share with you, I'm going to have to start outsourcing to people like video editors and, you know, just have more things that I'm offloading. So that's the third one. Um, and real quick guys, before I move on, one thing I've realized looking back years past when I'm setting goals, oftentimes I would set a huge list of them and there's a book I'm not going to pull it out, but it's behind me. It's called the one thing. And it's kind of just talked about narrowing, narrowing down your goals. And so I've realized I have to narrow down a lot of what I want to get done and focus more on the big stuff. And then, you know, because you just don't have enough time. So I have a pretty short list here. Um, so we, we talked about the month long trip, being a part of the general partnership of a syndication, hiring a video editor, and this is the, probably the scariest one for me right here. And this is hire my first full-time W-2 employee. They don't have to be full-time to start, but just hiring an employee in general has always scared me to death because I've always lived a life of like such freedom and being able to do whatever I want uh, with my time that, you know, I feel like when I have an employee come on, I'm, I'm suddenly going to be almost like burdened to come up with what they need to have get done throughout the day. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's going to be a big, big step for me is, is actually hiring a W2 employee. All right. And the last one that I'm going to share with you guys, this is the big one. And oh, how do I, how do I preface this? So money is not everything, obviously. I think we all know that, especially if you're listening to my channel, you kind of know my, my stance probably on just business and success. But um, so I feel like money is a good way to measure how you're how you're doing playing the game, like business and success and, and you know, real estate for me, it's just a big game to me. It's just so much fun. And I've talked about this with one of my mentors, like how how do you measure like how you're doing? Well, ultimately, when you boil it down, it, it you know, money is a good way to measure it. So even though like I never want to be the, the person that's flaunting, um, oh, look at how much money I'm worth or, you know, look what I've done. I think that in my private life, that is how I kind of track how I'm doing in the game of business. Now, there's way more important things. Uh, my spiritual life is way more important. My life with my, my life with my family, um, you know, my relationships with my wife, with my um, I don't have kids yet, but someday kids. That's way, way more important than money. But um, in this season of life, getting ahead financially in business is fun and is a game to me. And so I'm keeping score by tracking it. So my last biggest goal for 2022 is double my net worth in 2022, which in 2021, I was able to do that. The way that I look at it, I think that it's it's really hard, obviously, when you're starting out, when you're 16, 17, 18, you're completely broke. You have no money. Then you go into college and you're probably still broke and you're probably going down, you know, net worth because you're taking out student loans. But then once you start, you get into your groove, you start making money at your job or your career, that's when you start to really start to tick up and you can double your net worth, you know, fairly easily for probably a few years in a row. But then once you start getting up there where, you know, you're breaking, you know, the million, two million, three million dollar mark, whatever it is for you guys, um, it starts to get harder probably to double. Um, I might be wrong, but that's just kind of my thought process. Right now, I, I find myself in the point where like I found kind of found my groove. I feel like I'm starting to make, you know, good money and I feel like it's going to be easy to kind of I shouldn't say easy to double uh, because that makes it sound like my goal is going to be easy but it's attainable. It's a lot more realistic. I really think I can do it. And again, guys, it's not all about how much money you're worth, but I love playing this game and I think it's a, it's a fun way to track it. And that brings up a question of like, how do I actually track it? I need to make an updated video on this, but what I do is I, um, on the 15th of the month, every single month, I take a snapshot of my financial picture. So I look at all of my assets minus all of my liabilities, you know, so like all my real estate holdings, my cash in the bank, the value of my cars, my personal property, my Bitcoin, put that all up here. 
And then I subtract out all my liabilities. So all the mortgages I have on the properties, the car debt that I have, if I have credit card debt, which I don't. Um, let's see, what else do I owe? You know, like, yeah, credit cards, if you have that. Any personal notes, you know, if you owe your parents money, subtract all that out. And when you get to the bottom, all the assets minus your debts equals your net worth. And so every single month I do a quick snapshot of that. I have it saved in like a spreadsheet. And then um, once I get that number, I throw it into another Excel spreadsheet that actually charts it. So it's, it's actually pretty cool because I can visually see on this graph how, you know, my net worth has changed, you know, depending upon, you know, the decisions I'm making. So, you know, for instance, um, you know, you buy a property that all of a sudden you have, you know, $100,000 of equity in, boom, your, your chart's going like this. Or maybe I go buy a um, piece of personal property like a car that depreciates really fast, you know, then it's going to go like that. But that's what I find um, fun is just being able to track that and see what my progress is. And so 2022, we're going to see if we can double it which it's going to get harder and harder for me to do that here, you know, in the next few years. Of course, guys, we always have other goals, you know, like some of my other ones are like be better exercising, max out my Roth IRA. I want to consistently read this year. I would like to get better at memory, um, like memorizing verses out of the Bible. There's a lot of little things um, that I have as well, but that's just kind of like I'm, I'm not focused so much on accomplishing those things. Um, I have them all written down. I look at them can, you know, consistently, but that's another, um, another topic for a video I'd like to share with you guys. I don't have it down here, but I have a binder that I sit down with every single morning and go through a process. Well, not every single morning, but go through a, a process of like looking over my goals, writing things down, journaling, reading. So I'll have to go through that whole process sometime with you guys, but that will be for another time. So um, in summary, it's um, spend a month on a trip, close a deal as a general partner, hire a video editor, um, hire my first full-time or part-time W-2 employee, and double my net worth in 2022. And guys, if I, don't, if I don't hit them all, oh well, at least we tried. And again, I just have so much fun in this uh, game of business and life really it's just like i don't know who cares if we fail the go goals as long as we're having fun on the journey right so well i think that's gonna wrap this video up guys i appreciate you guys watching um hopefully i'm gonna start putting out a little more content and hopefully i'm gonna be outsourcing a lot more so hopefully this editor uh, will do a good job and be able to you know keep me accountable to putting stuff out so um, until next time guys thanks for watching and we'll see you later